please everything i'm saying here is tied to the kingdom not everyone is going to see a vision about his wife and it doesn't mean you are not spiritual good morning everyone welcome to dynamics of the youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a thoughtful revision on the podcast by apostle joshua Solomon. imagine waiting for a vision or a prophetic word to confirm your future spouse only to find out yourself lost in confusion was it truly god's plan or just a moment of misinterpretation this powerful message challenges the idea that prophecy alone determines relationship and instead emphasizes the importance of discernment divine connection and maturity it teaches that passion for someone can be genuine but without self-control and patience it can lead to unnecessary heartbreak or missed opportunities have you been waiting for a sign or is it time to trust in God's subtle divine connection instead? Are you ready to embrace the wisdom and maturity in your relationship? Make sure you watch this video from beginning to end. Thank you. Genuine godly desire and passion. Please, everything I'm saying here is tied to the kingdom. Not everyone is going to see a vision about his wife. And it doesn't mean you are not spiritual. Say amen. Now look up not everybody is going to see a vision you were just standing and all of a sudden you saw this welfare lady cooking and god says arise arise why sitest thou here go and take your position he said nay lord but i am weak and god will say no 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 you are not weak if that's what you are waiting for you may be disappointed God can plant a genuine passion. Listen, please. You are a worker in the house. Right? Faithful worker. I'm not talking of careless. You are not contributing anything to the kingdom of God. And you want to reap every harvest that others are working for. You, you, must, you must genuinely participate in kingdom building. Ah! One day suddenly you find out. Genuine desire. Please remove loss from it. You see that, ah... You notice that there is an unusual desire and passion for patience. Come patience. Unusual desire. Now watch this. When this happens, brothers, it's too early. Many of you don't have self-control. Once, once you feel anything, you land it till the lady lands it back at you. Be, be temperate. Don't just say, let me ask first though, before another person will come and ask. You don't know whether she's in a relationship. You don't know whether what you just go and disgrace yourself. The Lord told me you are the one. She says, sorry, we are getting married next week. And you carry, you, you, you now feel stupid. You feel irresponsible. A word spoken in due season. Ladies, shout due season. There is a due season, my brother. So God can use a simple godly desire. I've seen this lady. I, I, I connect with her in the spirit. And over time, as you build friendship, please bless you. Many brothers don't even understand the concept of friendship. They just come and say, stranger, you are my wife, I will marry you. Go and pray about it. I will hear tomorrow. What sort of nonsense is that? It's very rude. <laughs> It may not it has worked for others but i'm telling you it's very rude you don't walk up to a lady and just say you are my wife pray about it that's bullying especially if you're a man of god or you're a great person don't use position to intimidate ladies is someone learning something tonight desire and passion there are many of us that you find yourself having a godly genuine desire for someone and some of us are very embarrassed suddenly you're embarrassed that somebody you're always praying with ah uh -uh. kai why am i and now you go to pray you find yourself looking at ushers you are trying trying ah uh -uh. and see there are brothers that come here by three o'clock and still sit outside everybody say passion because the person they are waiting for has not come and they say look let me pay that price what is it if this is a cross i must carry i must carry that passion is very good because the day the lady breaks her hand huh? or the day they carry out a surgery on her 
that passion will sustain your love there are many ladies the day something happens to the guy they just turn around as if it's not the one they like he has not asked them out to they are so not proud of him something as little as running in a football field and it takes last the lady just turned Kai! brother has fallen my hands it's too early what sort of what what is your concept of marriage the brother has malaria and he vomits and everybody is looking and you you just start nauseating you are not you are you are feeling so discomforted you are not ready for marriage as simple as that is someone listening to me i'm hurrying up because i want to talk on roles and codes of conduct so a passion number two the prophetic god has also positioned the prophetic to help the man in locating the woman the prophetic there means either prophecy or the ministry of the holy spirit in your life and please i must balance this because that's what brought the issue of vision i saw a vision i saw a dream i saw this hallelujah hold on let me use the opportunity and balance something right now look up everybody god has not ordained you as a spiritual matchmaker moving around and looking at people and say aaron the lady you are sitting behind whether you see a vision or you have a dream about yourself or somebody else it must be handled with utmost maturity because marriage is a great mystery are you getting my point now you can go and meet an innocent lady and tell her do you know that i saw my man looking at you and all of a sudden it becomes an artificial desire especially if it falls at a point in her life where she's vulnerable ladies you know what i'm talking about right and then at that point all of a sudden this lady now begins to tie herself and maybe less as you my man is even minding his business with another lady is someone getting what i'm saying please be careful when it has to do with giving people prophecy don't stand with utmost authority and look and say i have seen it if it does not happen god didn't call me and the lady is waiting then she sees the guy's invitation card La, what's the name Aaron. le pose and the lady is now wondering oh god what is going on this is my husband here leaving me oh lord and people engage in all kinds of skills and spiritual activity in a bit to recover back the kingdom does not leave us to confusion don't you on another hand neglect the place of the prophetic there are so many people i've seen in my dreams and visions way before in fact when i saw it they did not even know themselves even me when i saw it i was surprised and by the hand of god god came and connected them you know why i'm saying this when it comes to marriage even prophecy can change so when you tie people you now look and say kasham stand up it's a tall guy one day he will sit down two seats close to you write it down his name is adriel if you miss him you have missed your husband five years kasham is still going around hoping adriel where are you adriel is planning his wedding are you getting my point aaron now comes and says uh-uh it's adriel they told me adriel fair guy adriel any dark guy that comes uh-uh i don't want the guy is fair Kasha will sit forever no husband because somebody injected a wrong prophecy into her are you getting what i'm saying now there are many of us who may be sitting down right now the way we are wrong prophecies wrong prophecies please be careful it must be discerned and balanced carefully listen to me listen it was god himself that appointed Saul to be king is that true it was the same God that now rejected Saul as king true or false it was God that appointed Moses to take God's people to the land flowing with milk and honey did God tell him he will not get there 
Later on, it was the same God that stopped him. So be careful. That you saw a lady in a vision is no guarantee that you must marry her. There are many factors that must come together. Alignment. Are you getting my point? There is alignment. There is what? Parental approval. And all of these other factors. For others, maybe tribal differences or whatever it is. There are factors together. So it doesn't just make it work automatically. Please get this revelation. If you don't get it, you are going to fool yourself into error. However, under a guided atmosphere of the word and spiritual maturity, prophecy can be very powerful. Hallelujah. Prophecy can be powerful in helping you understand your spouse. Number three, please play Mike. Divine connection, just like that. No vision, no nothing. Divine connection. For instance, we now give, come Femi, MD just gives them a song to score together. He's doing his work as MD, but the Spirit of God, come on now, the Spirit of God, Vitoi worship team Riazal. I'm not much making, I'm just giving an example. Hallelujah. And in the course of the Riazal, they have a course to discuss about life. And they find out that there is a connection in ideologies. All of a sudden, Femi supernaturally starts having credit. Favor. That's God cooperating with the event to happen. Somebody just sent one five. Whereas they wouldn't have sent one five. Every time you pray towards that relationship, Taiwo now wants to go and eat by two. But she's delayed to go by four. The only seat left is the seat where Femi is sitting. Everybody say divine connection. Oh, it happens. Absolutely. It happens. They've been inviting you for Koinonia for how many years? Suddenly, 2014. God just brings you. They say turn around and hug one another. And goodness, good. Destiny. It happens. Say it happens. Your wife is an usher now. Say amen. Very happy, sitting down, smiling, and see the wife blushing. Are you getting the point now? Let me tell you something. In the house of God, your wife is there. In the house of God, sister, your husband is there. The Bible says, He that lives by the altar should eat by the altar. I'll say it. I'll say it. By the end of today, we'll turn around and greet one another. You'll just greet one another and say, Oh God, open my eyes. With this corporate anointing, open my eyes. The Bible says he broke bread and their eyes were open. Alas, the sister you have been seeing every day. The Lord tells you, son of man, the season has come. Aaron was moving around and he went to prayer band while the sister was praying. God was saying, just serve, just serve Ruth. You will soon go to Naomi's vineyard and serve. Do you know many of you, because of your marriage, God took you from, you got 200 and something, they didn't give you admission there. God relocated you and brought you in a season. Everybody say divine connection. That's how we meet destiny help us. That's how many of you gave your life to Christ. You were strolling around and you had a preacher preaching. You just said, let me enter and listen to the message. Divine connection and you met destiny. That's how some of you came to Koinonia. It's one of the principles. In fact, let me tell you the truth. It's one of the strongest ways that couples are connected together. Serving in the house of God. So as you pray, you say, Lord, connect me divinely. Lord, connect me divinely. Lord,